that is. Welcome to another solo Deathless Hell Life. Uh, got something different for you today. Take you on the new high value assets defense mission, which is a load of fun. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. So, if you haven't tried this new mission out yet, it's really cool. I uh, kind of prefer it over the usual defense missions because it's a bit more linear and uh, you have a lot more kind of defensive positions to take and really feels like you're holding out against a horde rather than trying to farm kills. So I like to hold uh, each section as long as I can. So this is the outermost section. I'm placing uh, mortars down. Got the EMS and normal mortars. Uh, I think they're the most efficient in terms of their uptime and damage output. Especially because you're just holding in one position. Um, you can really have them get a lot of kills um, as long as you can defend them well. Plus they can shoot over these walls at a, a very long distance, so it can cover both sides for me. Also know I've placed them in a position where um, if enemies come through either of the gates, they can't immediately kill them. They have to uh, push round the corner to them. So that will draw some aggro and also buy, buy me some more time. Um, but for my loadout, you'll see I'm using the auto cannon, um, just an all purpose weapon. Uh, I can take on big guys, small guys. Uh, AMR, I think, uh, does the job as well. Has that same kind of all purpose profile. So, yeah, they tend to drop this side first. Waste no time, just open up and then they're listening to the drop ship. I find even if you um, have something that can take down a dropship, often the enemies are still alive um, when the dropship crashes, so you might as well just start killing them. Yeah, you can see how useful the EMS pieces are, they just completely lock everything down. The uh, explosive mortar will take out most of the small enemies, so you can just focus on um, hulks. The explosive mortars can't kill um, the usual tanks, but for the uh, shredder tanks, I have seen them, if they're lucky, a shell can land just on the vent on the back and it'll kill them. Yeah, that's why I've gone with the auto cannon. Uh, I can still go for those vent kills on the tanks and the eye shots on cocks. So these tanks will very quickly take out a gate just with the turret, or they can just drive through them as well. I brought uh, Eagle 110 pods. I think they're the most reliable at because uh, they can home in on tanks and they will destroy them with one one use. I love Eagle airstrike usually, but for some reason um, it can be a little unreliable tanks and this mission spams a lot of them so I've got my second set of turrets down I've placed them just behind that rock again it's a protected position for them and even though the gates uh, been knocked down I'm still going to try and hold this as, as long as I can yeah so just be quick on your 110 pods Take out the tanks. Say hello to democracy. <laughs> Not sure what good that hulk will do up there. Don't really need to go and kill it, but uh, no bot sympathizer. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the uh, first person sights of the auto cannon, so even though it's a little tricky without any zoom. I do prefer to just stay in third person for those shots. Quiet moment. So I'm placing a uh, few supplies further back just because um, I'm banking on being able to uh, 
pick up the supplies that are already on the map, which is for this first section. Stun nades, which are really useful. I mean, EMS mortar will stun a lot of things, but sometimes you just need to specifically hit the Hulk. It doesn't stun tanks, but great for anything like a Hulk or smaller. Well, great if you have nades on you. <laughs> Alright, well, that's kind of fished me back to the second set of walls. There you go. Yeah, I don't think I can hit the eye from this angle, but you can take off the arms for what that's worth. Not sure what it's looking at. The HMG emplacements are pretty useful. Uh, they will pierce through Devastator shields, and you can kill Hulk. Uh, uh, Hulks with the eye shots as well. But yeah, don't try and take on the tank with it. <laughs> so, this position for those two turrets is really useful. Uh, it's good even for not just this set of walls, but when you're at the back of the other set of walls. The enemies really struggle to get to them. Well, they have to go around around that corner and especially for the tanks that means um, it will expose the vents for you at the uh, second set of gates but yeah you'll see that in a second now I've got no more rocket pods so just focusing on what I've not sure what it's aiming at there do I still have a mortar out there in the first area? Doubt it. Scorcher uh, as my primary because it's um, really nice against shield devastators and uh, striders. But you might want to go for something without AoE since the auto cannon also is AoE because uh, those melee guys can do the wall for up on your face. You do have stun nades on this loadout though, so you can just stun them when they get too close. Like so. I think I try to hit that switch. But yeah, for whatever reason I can't quite reach it. It's the EMS motor I think. Completely locking me down. There we go. Yeah, there's no real point closing it if there's a tank about because it will just one shot it. So I'm opening it again. <laughs> just in time for the shell to miss. Smoke makes it really hard to see what's in there. Not sure. Okay, the red light is just the console. Yes, I'm gonna keep trying to refresh mortars in that corner. Um, I mean, if you put it further back, it also won't be able to shoot the enemies further up. Yeah, the, the reason why I'm trying to hold each area as long as possible is it just keeps the enemies further further from um, the objective. This damn smoke to clear. Because if, um, if a trooper gets closer and calls a bot drop, that's where the bot drop is going to fall. If it gets into the second area, calls a bot drop. Now got a drop ship right in that second area rather than uh, beyond the outer walls. Like the 
Raider. Just gotta make sure you don't shoot yourself. Um, you also kind of peeking over these walls. That was the, uh, the like ricochet the angle mechanic just now. Usually the water cannon will shoot uh, right through the uh, devastated shield. There it was ricocheting off because of this angle and that. Yeah. Alright, gate's gone. Gonna get to the other area. I tend not to close this gate until I really need to. It's too much in view of um, tanks. And actually shooting through the gate is a good angle to just take out everything. Still got one mortar out there. Yeah, nice to have a spare mortar cannon. Just in case I stuck reloading stuff. Uh, not necessary. Tanks turning round does give you the opportunity to go for the bed and then kill. There we go. What's cool about um, destroying these tanks at those choke points is it also blocks uh, a lot of the enemies. Other tanks can push through the wreckage just fine, but smaller enemies can struggle. This balcony is a decent place to haul out as well. And shoot through this when you've got the gate, um, gate closed. But yeah, just <laughs> be wary of rockets. Heavy armor and uh, explosive resistance coming in clutch again. Closing it just to buy us some time. Yeah, I can peek around this side. Be careful of that explosive barrel as well. Since the tanks are down, I think it's safe enough to try and open this gate. Got stun nades to keep the end. Ah, forgot to reload my pistol. Very awkward now. Generators will pull aggro, which can help. Oh, um, no more stun nades. You have ignited the torches of liberty. Extraction away. Nice. So on um, other times I play this mission, I tend to be held at the final gate for a lot longer. But I think it's because I held at that. At those outer areas for so long. Bought me a lot more time. Extraction <laughs> Nice. Good thing those generators had aggro at the end. Liberty has oh, out of needs.
really fun mission, especially in co-op, but as you can see it's doable in solo. Um, I haven't really uploaded many defense missions, but in general I, I really do like those um, turrets, especially the mortars. Not so good against bugs, uh, but against bots, you can just lock everything down and kill most things with them. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that run. Uh, I'll be doing some more solo and co-op stuff. It feels like it's been a while since I've done a co-op video, so maybe that will be next. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I don't know if those automatons were ever technically alive. But they're definitely dead now.